हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स मॉडल दिस पार्ट इन ऑटोकैट थ्री बट बिफोर दिस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम बेसिक्स फॉर ऑटोकैट थ्री सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज द ड्राइंग टेम्पलेट सो यू हैव डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेम्पलेट्स हियर दिस इज फॉर टू एंड दिस इज फॉर थ्री डी वेन यू हैव इंग्लिश यूनिट एंड वेन यू हैव मेट्रिक यूनिट यू गो फॉर ए के डाई एस ओ थ्री डी सो आई हैव मेट्रिक यूनिट सो आई गो विद दिस एंड हियर यू शुड ऑलवेज चेक यूर वर्क स्पेस यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव थ्री डी मॉडलिंग वर्क स्पेस देन द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव पैरल व्यू फॉर बेटर स्नैपिंग चेक योर ओ स्नैप सेटिंग यू शुड हैव ऑब्जेक्ट स्नैप एंड थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट स्नैप सेलेक्टेड नाउ लेट्स ओपन द ड्रॉइंग सो दिस इज द ड्रॉइंग एंड टू मॉडल दिस पार्ट वी विल यूज दीज कमांड्स दीज कमांड्स इंक्लूड टू डी एंड थ्री डी कमांड्स नाउ टू स्टार्ट द पार्ट इन ऑटोकेट थ्री डी यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्केचिंग प्लेन इन ऑटोकेट थ्री डी एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू मस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर ग्रिड्स विच इज योर स्केचिंग प्लेन सो आवर स्केचिंग प्लेन इज ऑलवेज एक्स वाई प्लेन एंड नाउ दिस स्केचिंग प्लेन इज ऑन टू द टॉप प्लेन सो वेन एवर वी ट्राई टू ड्रॉ समथिंग ऑन टॉप प्लेन वी शुड हैव दिस ओरिएंटेशन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ समथिंग ऑन योर राइट प्लेन देन यू मस्ट चेंज योर स्केचिंग प्लेन फ्रॉम टॉप टू राइट नाउ सी दिस इज योर राइट प्लेन एंड योर एक्स वाई प्लेन इज लेइंग ऑन योर राइट प्लेन सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ समथिंग ऑन योर फ्रंट प्लेन देन यू मस्ट चेंज योर स्केचिंग प्लेन टू फ्रंट नाउ सी दिस इज योर फ्रंट प्लेन एंड योर एक्स वाई प्लेन इज ऑन टू द फ्रंट प्लेन एंड टू गो बैक टू योर डिफॉल्ट ओरिएंटेशन just select ucs world and it will come back to your default orientation so this was the concept of sketching plane in autocad 3d now let's start the part so in autocad 3d you can build a part with different approach you can create all the features in the same location to build a part or you can create all the features separately in different locations and you can bring it together to build a part so i'll be using both the methods simultaneously and you will understand this easily in coming session so let's get started so now you understand the concept of sketching plane and i will be creating this base feature first and these are the dimensions to create it and for this i need top sketching plane so i am already there in top sketching plane now first i'll go with all add material features and then i'll go for remove material feature so let's start with line create a line from here press f8 for ortho the length of line is 100 this side it is 55 zoom the area once again line from this point 55 now i'll go with circle from this point the circle radius is 35 one more circle here with radius 15 one more time circle with radius 15 now i'll create one line from this quadrant to this quadrant similarly from this quadrant to this quadrant one more line from this quadrant to the normal to this line and from this quadrant to normal to this line now i'll go with trim tr double enter select this 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 and this now i'll go with press pull but before that i will join it i can use press pull without joining also but once you join it becomes easier now i'll go with press pull select this and this side it is 7 now i'll change it to shaded with edge now the next feature is these three cylindrical projection and these are the dimensions to create this feature so i'll go with circle this face i will select center the radius is 35 then one more circle here from this center this die is 20 and here also same die 20 from the center point now i'll go with extrude ext enter 
I'll select all three sketches at a time. I can do this by press pull also, but I cannot select all three at a time. The thickness is three. Now the next feature is this cylinder. And these are the dimensions to create this feature. And for this, I'll go with circle. I'll select center point of this face. The die is 44. Use press pull. Select this face and the height is 23. Now the next feature is this cylinder. And these are the dimensions to create this feature. So I'll go with circle from the bottom. I'll select this point, dia 30. Now I'll go with extrude EXT. I'll select this circle and I'll extrude up to 88. Now the next feature is this feature. And these are the dimensions to create this feature. And for this, I need a front sketching plane. So I'll change to front. Press F7 to switch off your grid. Now I'll go with circle. I'll create a circle with radius 10. Then a line. From this quadrant down here 10. This side it is 20. And then I will close it to this quadrant. Now I'll trim it using this two line reference. I will trim this circle. Now I'll go with press pull. I'll select this section and I'll take length as 28. Now I'll draw a small line from this midpoint to this side 7 after calculation 35 minus 28. Now I'll move it with reference of this line and I'll move to this quadrant. That's it. Now I'll just delete this. Now the next feature is this mid rib and these are the dimensions to create this feature. And for this I need a right sketching plane. So I'll change it to right. Now I'll go with line. This side it is 26, 23 plus 3. This side it will be 100. This side it is 42. This side it is 15, radius of cylinder. One more time line, this side it is 22, radius of cylinder. And then I will join it. Now I will use press pull. The thickness of rib is 8. Now I will move it from this mid to the center of this cylinder just like this. Now I will delete this. Now the next feature is these two side ribs and these are the dimensions to create this feature. And for this, I need front sketching plane. So I'll change to front. Now I'll go with line. I'll draw one line from this quadrant to this quadrant. I will move this line, this side. Now I'll create one more line from here. This side, it is 10, radius of cylinder down it is 3 and this side I will take a random value. Now one more time line from here this side it is 15 radius of cylinder and here it is normal to the line. Now I will trim it. I will take this line as a reference and I will trim this portion. Now I will join it. I will select the entire sketch. Now I'll go to press pull. I'll select this and the thickness is 8. Now I will mirror it. I'll select this feature from this point to this 
and done now move it select this two and select this point midpoint and this quadrant right click and quadrant select it you can use shift and right click to activate o snap menu now all add material features are done now let's unite it u and i select all the features and say enter so now it is a single feature now delete all these sketches so now all add material features are done now i'll go with remove material feature but before that press f6 to switch on your dynamic uses it will allow you to create your section on any surface without shifting the sketching plane now i'll go with circle on this surface i will select center of the surface the radius of circle is 30 i will use press pull i will select this negative direction and stun now the next feature is here on this surface the circle is radius 10 i will use press pull this direction carefully and this material is removed one more time circle here the dia of this circle is 12 press pull negative direction and it's done again circle here dia 12 press pull select the circle down and it's done one more time circle the dia is 18 press pull select this face downside and it's done now the last feature is this fillet with radius 10 so f enter r enter 10 enter i will select this edge enter same thing that side select this edge enter and your part is done